Okay, so I'm going to work in solo mode for a second. We're going to do some trickery with the the actual sword. Um, now I'm going to introduce you to this. This is the selection tool. And how it works is if I hold Control and Shift, it makes a green box. Control, Shift, and Alt make a red box. I'm going to make a red box and hide the polygons from here to there. Okay? Then, I'm going to go down here and group. I'm going to group visible. Okay, leaving this. So now, what I should be able to do is click the center with Control Shift, and it'll give me the center point. If I unclick it, it'll give me this one. Okay, so very, very, very simple stuff. Poly groups are super powerful. You just got to think of how you're going to get something into a group. So what I'm going to do here is go into geometry and hit edge loop. Now make sure you have edge loops at one. And you should get something that looks like this. Then I'm going to go into that one and edge loop it again. So why not just go two to begin with? Well, you'll see. Okay, now uh, what I want to do is mask off this. So I'll hold Control and Shift, click on this, hold Control anywhere, it'll mask it. Control and Shift will make it all come back. And this very center here. What I want to do is relax this a little bit. So here, I can try to polish it. Let's try polishing it. In fact, polishing did a really nice job, but it's now bumped out a little bit, so I don't want that. I'm going to try relaxing it. And let's go in here and size it. Size it in Z or no X. That's exactly what I want. That's what I want right there. So I want it towards the center of the object. Okay, and then I'll clear this out. And I got the move tool here, but I want the regular move tool. Again, make sure that your symmetry is set. So set pivot. So it should have the clear pivot before you do this. So what I want to do is produce a flat spot there. And up above, I just want to fix this stuff up so I can just kind of move this into place, move this into place. And produce something like that. Okay. Wow. Right? Right? <laughs> okay. So what happens now? Well, make sure both sides look good. And that's your blood groove. And that's a good way to put in a blood groove on a sword and ZBrush. Okay. While you're here, let's sharpen up the tip. Bring this naturally down a little bit. Certainly, if you want one of the more squared off swords, you can keep it up there. And let's just test that out. Let's going to divide it. And that is exactly what I want. Yep, perfect. Okay, let's get out of solo mode. And now I should have something like this. And I'm just going to clear that pivot so it goes back into place. So what I'm going to do is sculpt on each form, that's my next thing, and then um, we're going to put it all together and do it in a very particular way so it's game ready. That's very important. I produce game ready stuff. I don't produce 
il the illustration stuff. I I want this as a low poly representation with a normal map and see what it looks like in Maya at the very end. So we'll go on to the next video where we begin the sculpt.